Okay, this channel is for anyone who is studying the AQA A level. So this is the second year, and you're going to be doing paper one, which is the predator prey simulation this year. This is not for the AS that hasn't been released yet. So, these videos. Uh, we're going to do a load of analysis of the program structure. Looks far more involved than previous years. Obviously, we've got an object model to deal with. So we'll look for examples of all the keywords that they'd like to examine you in what used to be section C and is now section B. Of course, when we come to change the code, there's going to be some validation. There always is. Uh, my best guess is that will come from the custom game. They could do it on the XY coordinates, um, but chances are it's going to be that custom game. There's some interesting things there where you're not allowed to have more warrens than there are locations, etc. And there's also big chunks of sort of good, honest, honest structured programming. I know they're calling it an object model, but there's still big chunks of structured programming there where there's lots of scope for us to change the functionality of the code in ways similar to, to you know, previous problems. And finally, probably the most interesting in terms of the new specification is the creative new classes. There's a really obvious or a couple of obvious uh, possibilities where we could create a new animal and we've got some nice overridable uh, methods ready and waiting to be sort of uh, changed in the in new inherited class. So lots of possibilities. I reckon we're going to end up with about 10, 15 possibilities for you to play with. Crucially, I don't want this to be a one-way process. I want you to be able to feel free to um, either convert my solutions that are going to be in VB into the language of your choice. Uh, if you think that I've cocked up or you think that my solution is optimal, more than happy for you to uh, chip in. I always try and come up with solutions I think are going to be most likely to be solvable in the time that you're going to have in the exam. But I'm happy to suggest alternatives. Crucially, if you've got a solution, if you've got a problem with the code that you've spotted that I've not even mentioned that we're going to have, uh, yeah, chip in with a comment because I think the more people that we have uh, input into this, the more likely we are to be able to produce a set of um, tutorials that will practice you in a way that you're best prepared for this exam. Right, looking forward to this one. Looks like a really interesting uh, scenario and you'll be hearing more from me over the next few weeks.